Hi, I'm John, and we're here with the new analog modules from Mungo Enterprises, the oscillator, filter, and mixer. If we first listen to the oscillator, the triangle wave being taken from a quantized source, this oscillator has a single frequency range, all the way from LFOs, up to the end of the audible range. And a fine tune control spanning several semitones. Along with more traditional frequency modulation. Oscillator also offers phase modulation input. Here with an LFO we get a warbling type sound. And adjusting the depth of the modulation. In addition to the triangle wave, there's also a sawtooth at double the frequency, which goes into the ultrasonics above audible range. And again, down to LFO rates. All in a single span of the frequency knob. Having both triangle and sine wave oscillators together here, we can compare the difference when using them as a modulator on a triangle. Triangle modulator as compared to sine wave. The mixer has three input channels with an individual output and normalized to the input of the VCA. The lowest input is unity gain. The second input has an attenuverter from minus two to plus two. And the upper input has an attenuator going from zero to 10 times gain. This is also voltage controlled and has an additional envelope to gate that with a VCA. Along with having the VCA, the envelope is produced as a separate output, which can be used for other modulation. Such as the classic kick drum patches. We can get simple envelopes from the AD envelope generator, as well as the variable curve going from linear all the way through to a polynomial response. Starting with the kick drum patch, adding some phase modulation is particularly capable of metallic sounds. The envelope generator has both Attack Decay, 
and attack release modes. And these envelopes can extend out to extremely long times and are not re-triggered during the attack stage. Being a resonant filter, it is of course possible to ping it with an envelope as here. The filter has traditional volt per octave scaled pitch controls with a fine tune, resonance or feedback with voltage control, tuned volts per octave, and phase modulation input. Comparing different modulators on a sine wave, we can modulate with a triangle, or with a sine wave, for a much more hollow type sound. Matching the filter, the oscillator also has exponentially scaled pitch control, a fine tune control, tuned volts per octave, and a phase modulation input, but instead of regeneration or feedback has a control over the depth of synchronization. Here with two oscillators we can explore some of the synchronization and modulation capabilities. This single oscillator will be slaved to a master sync. Here it is with only a very small amount of sync sensitivity. All the way up to full sensitivity locks hard to the master oscillator. If we instead back this off, we can slowly get weaker and weaker locks to the master signal, but still retaining some coherence. down to almost no synchronization at all. To explore the synchronization features of the oscillators further, we can connect them both to an oscilloscope to look at the Lesages curves. Here they're both a triangle wave almost the same in frequency and we can hear them phasing past one another. If instead we synchronize to a squared up version of the slave oscillator, enough synchronization we can keep them in almost quadrature or sync them periodically or in the reverse polarity. Instead deriving the sync from the frequency doubled sawtooth, extreme settings produce overtones fractional settings can get them to lock perfectly in phase or perfectly in antiphase where they cancel each other out and make no sound. The fractional sync gets more interesting when you consider waveforms that aren't exactly the same frequency. two frequencies here that are simply rolling past each other and creating beats in the audio frequency. With a small amount of sync we can periodically capture those edges and with more and more 
optimization it becomes more and more similar until it's eventually locked at a hard sink. And of course if the sink's removed, it goes back to rolling past each other. sound of three oscillators running in unison and if we patch their CV to a quantized source we can hear them beating slowly across their pitch range. This is compared to synchronizing them. In the case of the sine wave oscillators we can synchronize them by passing a closely matched signal to their filter input. beating is gone and we have just a single tone, removing those synchronizations returns that deep low frequency content that's characteristic of detuned analog oscillators. As an example of modulating a filter in a musical context, here we have a traditional single oscillator filter VCA patch. The oscillator is not resonant at all. And as you bring up the resonance on the oscillator, it's now self oscillating, capable of running without the input. And you can take the original waveform. And phase modulate the filter with it. <laughs> 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 